<clears throat> Grab a drink, grab a snack, the homie Zach Seven is back. And today I'm reviewing a grand legendary review on Sword Art Online. Season one. Not season two, but season one. Um overall, from what I remember and as I'm watching it, I'm going to eventually tell you guys how I feel after I watch the whole thing. But um I hope all of you have a legendary day. And I think, in my opinion, this is just how I feel about the whole show. I like the show. I personally like it. Yeah, there is some inconsistencies, plot holes, um, plot armor, and some stuff that really doesn't <laughs> really make sense in the story. But, I mean, when those things are happening, you really got to think and know about... All stories are different, right? Not all stories are perfect. Um, but each story... You can explain what's wrong with it. You can figure out what's wrong with it, right? And figure out what should be um, the right thing for it. If one thing doesn't make sense, there's a solution to it. Um, but in 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 the end, right? There is always still different stories to watch and enjoy. And sure, we might not like certain things in certain stories and certain shows and certain movies. But, personally, even when I don't like stuff about something, doesn't mean I don't like it. So, overall, how I felt about Sword Art Online, I personally enjoyed it. I personally really enjoyed it, to the point where I got the games for it. And Hollow Realization is one of my favorite games of all time. And I really <laughs> enjoyed the show, I enjoyed the games, and honestly, I'm kind of late to, um... Alakazization or whatever it's called, elitization. There's also a game for that. Um, but overall, I enjoy it. I mean, if me and the people who created Sword Art Online, even Reki Kawahara, want to collaborate, I'm completely down. I don't even care what it is. I'm down 100%. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed the show and I like it. <laughs> I like it. So. Um, future the homies x710 do you have anything you want to add to this review thanks overall how i feel i because i'm on rosario plus vampire now or rosario vampire about um sort of online i just want to talk about one thing all right i like this show there are some things that i question like what the frick that are just point just straight up obvious um and there's this one thing that is, is is talked about so much, and I feel like people don't understand it. So in case people don't, I do want to break it down just a, a little bit here. So basically, there is one part that a lot of people talk about. We're, go, we're just going to talk about this part um, because how many people talk about it and I feel like don't understand it? Um, incest. Basically, the part where Kirito and Sugaha, Sugo, S Sugu, I think I'm going to call her Sugu because that's a lot easier. Sounds like susu.jpg, but we're not going to talk about that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Anyhow, basically, Sugu um, fell in love with Kirito, not her fucking cousin, Kirito in... In the game Alfheim Online, she fell in love with Kirito. Somehow, one way or another, that's how the story went. That's how it was written. Whatever. And then when she said that she fell in love with them, he was like, Hey, but we're kind of siblings, though. And then she was like, Nah, but we're really not. We're cousins. But that doesn't matter. The point is, she fell in love with his character in-game, not knowing that they were... Um, not knowing that he was, uh, sorry, um, he, Kirito was, uh, what the fuck was his name, uh, Kirito Kaizagawa, I don't, I don't fucking, I don't even know, I, I, I don't even know his real name, because all I know him as Kirito, and, uh, that's, oh my gosh, that's something in itself, especially when playing the Sword Art Online Hollow Realization game, that's another thing, um, but I'll get into that in a second, because I actually have really want to talk about that. And a lot of people have already talked about it, but I just want to give my two cents on it right quick. Um, but back to um, back to what I was talking about. Basically, um, 
what people don't understand that yes there are inconsistencies but um in terms of this it's it's just a side plot it's all stories are different and okay it's not and and on top of that it's not even incest how is it in any way incest when of course she already knew it was wrong finding out when uh it was her quote unquote brother when it's uh her cousin right um Kazuto Kirigaya, right? So, um, she didn't know that it was Kazuto, and she only knew Kirito, not knowing that. So, once she found out, she was like, okay, this is weird, this is wrong. She did her stuff, and then she got over it, and then they're all good from that point on. Um, and it's kind of weird in the sense of uh, going on Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. I don't know about any games beforehand. Um, Fatal Bullets excluded from this because we're talking about Hollow Realization. And that's one thing that's kind of weird because the character uh, Kirito, which is pretty much the character you play, that's one problem I have with that game because I got the game here. This is the second copy because the first one, a uh, poor... Uh, freaking hobo took it to sell it for cash that he can't earn or make or get off his lazy ass to get. So he sold this game and Fatal Bullet um, and Black Ops 4 and just other games too. But anyway, that's a different topic. I've already made a couple videos on that. Um, random. But back to this. More action. Okay, whatever. And an upgraded battle system. Okay, whatever. But you get to the second thing here. Enhanced character customization. Oh shit, that's enhanced, and not it's not even enhanced when it talks about character customization. That's not that's not what's in there. That's not that's not it. I'm chief, and I'm saying that ain't it. Because, okay, sure you can customize it. You can even make it a fucking female, but it'll still be Kirito. It will still, no matter what, you're playing Kirito. Like I said when I made my series on it, um. Okay, I'll do some setting, uh, or I'll do some character uh, settings changes and stuff. But you're still technically Kirito to the point where there's a setting in settings called ADV or Advanced, as I believe the world <laughs> believe the word is, um, Advanced Kirito voice, and you can turn it on or off. Basically, um, no matter what, even in dialogue slash uh, the 2D cutscenes and pretty much any cutscene. On top of that, your Kirito. It's 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 like how to, how are you going to try to make a Sword Art Online game where people can be um, customized as whatever? Because if you did that, that game would be ten times better than it already was. Um, and despite that, there's some um, great things about the game that I personally enjoy. Um, but that's we're not doing a freaking review on the game. But I do want to talk about um, Alfheim Online. Alfheim Online, I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, ALO, whatever, um, and then uh, Hollow Realization, which is kind of weird because, of course, with the Infinity thing, you can do that with Leafa, and then that makes it weird because if no matter what your Kirito, it kind of encourages what the show isn't technically trying to do, I don't know, because I didn't write the show and all that, um, but when, in the sense of what people have been saying is incest, it's not that, unless... You talking about, and and I mean they are cousins and all, but still, um, and I don't know how that's not related because cousins are still in a way related. You know, whatever. I'm not gonna get into that. But in Hollow Realization, if you max max out their affinity level, there are things you can do um, there and get a scene there. Um, so that kind of pushes a different message than what the show is, um, saying. So that, if they said it about the game, that would make ten, a lot more sense. Not even ten times more sense. It would just make a lot more sense. Um, there was another thing that I was going to say, um, that was related to all of that. But, uh, brain fart and just staring at screens, I guess you could say. Um, but overall... It's not incest in the show, and the only way it, it, it would be, would be in the Sword Art Online Hollow Realization game. That's the only situation that it could be maybe considered, but they're 
apparently not related cousins. I don't I don't even know the situation there. But all I know is in that that's that's that. But how are you going to make a sort online game but not have customizable s s freaking stuff? And then it's just freaking having to be Kirito. It just it's hard not to see yourself as Kirito cuz no matter what you're pretty much Kirito. Um, even if you change the voice for your character, um, how your character looks, what you use, um, cause you don't have to use the sword or the dual wield sword. You can if you want. Um, but even in cutscenes, <laughs> you'll just be Kirito, so it's, it, it pretty much doesn't fucking matter. Um, but yeah. Um, I think that's all I have to say about the topic until I might or may remember what I was going to say, cause it was, it was a really good point. Um, but overall, I do want to get that, get this video out there so you guys understand um, that the show wasn't, from from what I've seen, because I just watched the show, I wasn't really watching it as I was editing Donkey Kong Country, uh, me beating the game, which is actually almost done. Let's see how much is done. It's about 90. It's 93% complete. And then I'm done with that. Then I go on to edit Super Mario World, Super Mario World 2. Um... And a link to the past, and those are all going up tomorrow as soon as possible. I know I just said the games, and I never said it before, so it's kind of you know a little bit of hype if you do watch this video. Um, but yeah, I do want to just put that out there, and I guess plug in a little bit of the gaming stuff I'm going to be doing. Um, so I did a few Super Nintendo games. Um, I'm going to be doing some uh, GameCube games too that I've already did but mostly a couple games that I have to get to because um, I feel like it. Um, and then after doing those games, Wii games, Wii U, um, and then PlayStation 4. And uh, that's a lot. Of, I got a lot of games. And then, of course, Modern Warfare 2, the new one. Um, Call of Duty, I, I super want to try that out. So for sure, we'll begin to that. And then, of course, Super Paper Mario. That's one of the Wii games that I, that I got. So a little bit of hype there. Um... But yeah, these are not the only topics and the only things I want to talk about. Of course, I'm going to be doing my legendary grand anime reviews and movie reviews, TV shows reviews. So many things and projects in the works, like I said. They're all going to be coming out as soon as possible. But for now, like I um, previously mentioned, I'm going to be working on gaming. And that is the main thing that I'm going to be doing. Um, but right now, um, I guess a little bit of update i'm kind of watching some anime because i feel like it um i'm going through uh each ones while i'm editing the videos and then i'll stop watching once i'm done editing but that, that's not going to happen for a long time um i just finished short art online i don't have season two otherwise i'd be watching that right now because i really want to watch season two i'm gonna eventually get that um and then do a i could do a review but i mean there's a lot of good points and a lot of good videos out there that already do reviews and I feel like it's just one I can skip, um, but Rosario Vampire, I do like, um, if there's not much to say about an anime or TV show or a movie or a game even, because I'm going to do Legendary Grand um, reviews on those, and even foods or drinks, if there's not much to say or if there's not really a point or reason um, or if there's not enough for a review, then I'm not going to do one, um, and yeah. Hopefully, hopefully I get quoted on that and hopefully people see that because that is a really good point um, that might not even get repeated in the future. But yeah, that's something that I want to talk about. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, take care of a legendary day. Love you all for watching this video. Thank you all for coming through. And I'll see you guys in the next uh, video slash live stream. It's been your boy, the homies x 710 And thank you all, Grand Legendary Empire, for watching.